Hey everyone, I'm a casual watch guy and today we're going to take a look at this filled watch that I got on Amazon for $6. Pictures of cheap watches are often better than the watch itself, so let's take a look to see if this is actually a good field watch or a watch that should be left in the field in the middle of nowhere. The shipping and packaging of this watch is nothing to write home about. The watch again comes in this flimsy plastic bag with styrofoam sheets wrapped around it. I'm not the last super cheap watch that I reviewed for this kind of packaging, but I'm guessing it's pretty standard for watches that come from China. It also took over a month to arrive, which is also pretty standard for watches originating from China. Now admittedly, this watch looks pretty awesome. It's got a nice matte finish on the case, a very readable dial, and I really like the color scheme of it. It has a case size of 40mm, with a thickness of about 10mm, and the nylon band has a width of 22mm. The strap it comes with matches the dial nicely, but it's actually not too comfortable. The cheap quartz movement is also a little noisy, but it's not too bad. The watch face says it has a Japanese movement, but as we'll see later, this is a face that cannot be trusted. When you open it up, the movement indicates that it's made by a company called Lang Shin, which seems like a Chinese company to me, but I can't say for certain. You'll notice that the watch face says it has a 200 meters water resistance, but I highly doubt this. 200 meters of water resistance is consistent with some G-Shocks and even some dive watches. There's no way that this will survive scuba diving, let alone showering or swimming, and we'll test this later on in the video, so stay tuned. It probably has little to no water resistance, since the case back is very easy to remove and it has no seal on it. Speaking of the case back, it has a nice engraving on the back, which is pretty uncommon for these cheap watches, so it's a pretty cool detail to have. It's very hard to change the time and date on this watch because the crown is a little misaligned with the opening. As you can see here, you can only access the crown or turn the crown from the bottom and you can't turn it from the top because there is a gap. For the most part, I do like the design of the watch face. I like how they have the hour markers on the outside and smaller 24 hour markers on the inside. I do think it looks a little crowded though. The hands on the watch look okay. They're a little generic, but they're not the worst thing I've ever seen. The watch hand also appears to have loom, but like the rest of the watch face, this is also a lie, and you can't see anything in the dark. This watch looks really good from afar, but a closer look reveals its many flaws. The strap is a very good example of this. From afar, it looks like a nice nylon strap, and it matches the blue theme that this watch has. But if you look more closely, you can see that's very low quality. In some places, you can see the glue that they used, and it even sheds a little when you touch it. Some little fibers come off whenever you come into contact with the strap. A leather piece covers the holes, and it's supposed to keep the holes open, but this is just for show and has no functionality whatsoever. It only appears on one side, and if you take a look at the back side, you can see that the holes are actually covered up by some of the nylon strands so it's a little difficult to put the watch on. Overall, I can't say I'm too pleased with this watch. If it were just based on looks alone, I think this watch would be okay. It's a good looking field watch with a nice blue color scheme. The quality of it is on par with other watches at this price point, but I just can't get over how it has misinformation on the watch face. If they didn't mention the 200 meter water resistance, or the Japanese movement, or even have the fake loom on the hands, I think this would be an okay watch. But the fact that they added these is a big turn off for me. Now taking a look at this leaderboard, we already have two watches in it, and these are from episode 1 and 2 of Super Cheap Watches. Now if this was only based on looks, I think today's watch would get the top spot. However, since they're all super cheap watches, you have to look at them holistically. The packaging and shipping on this watch isn't too great. The shipping took a long time, and the packaging wasn't the greatest either. The quality of this watch I think is a little better than the two watches that I have, but that's debatable. The watch strap isn't the greatest, but I think the watch case it's pretty nice with matte finish and a nice readable dial. It's also not as loud as the second place watch here, so it's more usable. However, it does lie about its water resistance and Japanese movement, so unfortunately, 
I'll have to put it at the last play spot, because the other two watches don't lie about the specs that they have. And now, the moment you all have been waiting for, time to dunk this watch into the water. Now if you listen carefully, you can actually hear air bubbles coming out of the watch. Now this is definitely a sign of water getting into the watch case itself. The water is getting into the watch case and forcing out the air bubbles inside of it, causing this air bubble sound. Now at first I was a little surprised, since the watch was still working, even after putting it in the water for a few seconds. I honestly thought that it would stop working right as we put it into the water. I then decided to take a look at the inside of the case. And it turns out, water did get into the watch case itself. If we left it a little longer, the watch probably would have stopped, since the water would have had more time to get into the watch. So, from this experiment, we can say that this watch is definitely not 200 meters water resistant. Anyways, that's the end of our video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to like and subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram for more great content.